Space is a place where humans should go, and lots of humans. We should create the opportunity for anybody who wants to to be able to live in space one day. And to do that, one of the biggest things that we need to develop is the ability to make things in space. And that's what we're really trying to pave the way for. So Made in Space is, is really the first space manufacturing company and what that means is we're trying to solve the problem of getting things into space a completely different way than launching them on rockets. Instead, we're looking at how you actually just make things in space when you need them. Really, if you look at it for the history of space exploration, every single man-made object and human that's ever been in space came from obviously the surface of Earth on a rocket, which means everything has to fit inside of a rocket, so it's constrained in volume. It also has to survive that uh, launch environment, which is a, it's a pretty harsh environment. So you can build things there, you can also be more independent of Earth. So an astronaut on Mars one day, with the ability to manufacture with made in space 3D printers, can get things immediately when they need it, rather than waiting you know, several months for it to arrive on a rocket. So what we've done is we've changed the way you get hardware in space. One of my favorite stories of what we've printed in space was the astronaut on the space station at the time who was operating the printer with us. He mentioned that he was looking for his wrench, his uh, ratcheting wrench. Working with NASA, we actually designed that tool, tested it on the ground, and then within days we were actually emailing the digital information of that tool to the 3D printer, printing it out. And um, there's these wonderful pictures online of Butch Wilmore holding his ratchet. and. Uh, what I love about that picture is it's, uh, that picture itself was taken only two hours after we sent the digital information to the printer. The natural progression of that technology roadmap, though, is building things that never ever could even fit into a rocket or survive launch. And this opens the door to entirely new types of mission opportunities. We have near-term projects like build a recycler for the space station, turn plastic waste into usable parts. We also have some very far out future focused projects. Probably the furthest one out looks at how to use the materials on an asteroid to construct really useful objects. What we want to do is actually send a machine to an asteroid and convert the asteroid into a spacecraft and then the asteroid itself will fly to a mining outpost where it can be mined and used for other uses. NASA has made this a really important aspect of how they operate, which is to work with commercial industry through public-private partnerships. And that's what this printer on the space station represents. So for the taxpayer space program, which is NASA, to succeed, it, it actually does rely on a lot of uh, different companies like Made in Space to help bring it all together. And to know that we're a part of making that happen and when astronauts go to Mars, it will be a part of that is pretty, pretty awesome.